seems right unto man. Body and is a way of partition. Be careful of the choice you make. The world is full of darkness because the devil, the enemy of the souls of men, was cast down there. The enemy of the soul of man puts as many that yield to his temptation and bait into bondage. Now God was looking for a man that he would use to set the captive free, to deliver the oppressed and declare the salvation of the Lord unto the lost. God was looking for a womb that would carry his anointed and he found a faithful, committed woman. A woman who would not yield to the fashion of the time. A woman who would not argue with the standard of her Lord. A woman who would rather die for Christ than to deny Christ. A woman who would respect and submit herself to her Lord. A woman of prayer. A woman who would travel aggressively for her husband despite the ill treatment of her in-law because of inability to have a child after 10 years of marriage. Her name is Dickiness Rhoda. Mom, mom, mom! Push! Please, uh, come, uh, you are doing well, ma. Uh, please, this uh, baby must not die. Uh, madam, madam, madam. Please, push! Try, push, try, try push, it again, try it again, madam. Uh, push, push, push! Push! Uh, madam, push! Push! Push, what is your problem? You have been labor for the past four hours. Don't kill this baby, push please! Ah, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Push, now push, 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 push! We are witches of Odu the forest. We have no time to waste again. As you all know, Rodia is a terror of our kingdom. And the baby she's about to give birth to. We do us more avo. This is why brother and our baby must die. Ha 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 Maru 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 majaka maru 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 majaka maru 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 majaka the spirit of death i will repair dani lorora iwoju enikan go now and finish roda and her baby and come back to us and tell all the glad tidings <laughs> 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 Be back with the blood and the liver of Rhoda. <laughs> <sighs> My heavenly father, ah, you know the hand from the beginning. It's never your plan for me to carry this baby for a good nine months and then lose it. Ah, Lord Jesus, arise and fight for me. Jesus, arise and fight for me. Lord Jesus, arise and fight for me. Angel of death, where are you going? <laughs> I am sent on a mission to kill Rhoda and her baby. It's a lie. It is written in Job chapter 5, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. It is also written in the book of Ecclesiastes 10, 8. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whosoever breaketh the edge, the serpent shall bite him. I therefore command you to bow and be consumed by fire. Fire! Congratulations. 
I'm not sure if I can continue on this narrow path again. I've been in the ministry for over two years. Yet, there is nothing to show for it. Despite the, the miracle, healing and deliverances from bondage that do occur in my ministry. Yet, the population of the church never increased. Ah, Lord, what you told me about is different from what I'm seeing. Oh Lord, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Anointed, why are you worried about so many things? For you to succeed in your God-given vision and ministry, you must understand it is not the population that determines the manifestation. It is all about impartation. Your life and commitment to the gospel has risen great giant for the kingdom. Your life and obedience to the cross of Christ has rescued a lot of souls from going into eternal perdition. Your ministry is very small in population, but it is great and mighty before God. In fact, in this entire city, it is your church and 10 other churches that are terror to the devil. There are a lot of places today called churches, but before God, they are cemeteries. Don't allow anyone to deceive you. It's not about the population, but it's all about impartation. Hmm. It's not about the population, but about the impartation. Hmm. It's not about the population, but about the impartation. Hmm. It's not about the population, but about the impartation. Hmm. It is not about population, but about impartation. It is not about population, but about impartation. What kind of dream is this? Yes, it's like I saw his number on Facebook. Let me call him. Ah! Ah, my phone is ringing. Who is this? Hello? Who am I up to? Pastor Anointed, it is Reverend Bello. We met at Oxford Bible School. Oh, Reverend Bello. Wow, it is unfair. For the past two years, you have not been calling me. I am preparing for my trip to Dubai next week. Oh, Dubai? Wow, that is wonderful. By His grace, we are now 20,000 in population in Africa alone. And we are 5,000 population in Europe, Asia and America also. Wow. I was glad to call you. Can we see? I will send you the address of my house. All right, there is no problem. There is no problem, okay. All right, later we'll see, eh? Dear, meet me in the car, I'm done. Pastor Anointed, I'm really sad with what you are going through. So after two years in this ministry, you are just 15 in population. God is not wicked. And you sit down there and say that you are waiting on God. I am very disappointed, honestly. Come to my church and see my office. Everything is supported from Germany. If you see my church building, I am sorry to say this, but you will cry. Mm. I still remember our last discussion in Oxford Bible School. You told me that day that he who fails to wait shall be wasted. I still remember your last word of counsel to me. You said, Sometimes you will not find it easy to do the right. At times you have to sacrifice and endure. Sometimes you will be reproached and mocked. But when you endure and determine not to follow multitude to sin, something great is awaiting you. If you can remain 
unwounded, unshakable, pure, and holy unto the Lord. Great reward is awaiting you in the kingdom of God. And in heaven, you shall be glad that you remain faithful. So, my dear pastor, he that fail to wait shall be wasted. Reverend, if I say I am not confused, I am just deceiving you. My dear pastor, that was then I was getting it wrong before, until I came across Bishop Emeka. Ah, Bishop Emeka, may the father that made us father reward you. We are in a new era and civilized world. See, if you don't adjust your message and make it civilized, your church will never grow. Reverend, I am becoming more confused. What does it mean to make my message more civilized? Pastor, wake up. Message on rapture, judgment of God on sinners that refuse to repent, hellfire, the great tribulation, and the rest. This is not what our people need now. Preach to them about love, miracle, money, prosperity, many others that will make them to be happy. But I thought the only message given unto us is the message of the cross, repentance and holiness. That is the problem of you people. Tell me, who can be holy? Are you holy, pastor? Look into my eyes and tell me that you are holy. Okay, reverend. I will do anything you say, as long as there will be results. And apart from that, if there is no shedding of blood. Okay, now you are talking. We will embark on a small journey. In the next two days, we will go to Father Jaku that made me a father. Father Jaku? What is the name of his church, sir? It is an Indian priest that can give you all that you want under heaven, as long as you will comply with his rule. Jesus! Indian priest? Yes. Reverend, I can never go to such place. Look at this one. Huh? I'm trying to help you, but you are not helping yourself. Then you die in poverty. Please go and think about it. And in the next two days, I will be expecting you. Mind you, we are going very early. God forbid. I will never. In fact, Reverend, I need to leave. <laughs> Look at this one. I know you will soon call me. This is a great temptation before me. Will I be able to overcome? Will I be able to stand? I know the promises of the Lord for my life are yea and amen. But it is getting too late. Reverend Bello now has two Range Rovers with $30 million net worth. Wow! Anointed! What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? What shall it profit a man? if he gains the whole world and loses his soul. But Raven Bello said it will not involve blood. But I know going there is going to the house of the devil. No, 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 I can't do it. So I will stop preaching repentance and holiness. What will people say? Had it been that I will still be preaching my normal messages? It will be better. Ah, ah, what am I saying? But I am suffering too much. I need money. No, I won't go. I won't go. Where is the stupid man? Today I will show you hell. Hey, this man has come again. Ah, I'm. I'm coming, please, I'm coming, sir. You call yourself a pastor. Over six months, you cannot pay my house rent. Yes, I'm sorry, sir. I will pay your money by next month. Next month, my food. Do you think I'm crazy? Later, you'll be saying repent, 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 repent. See other pastors with big cars. You are here, you are here begging me. Today, you must pay me my money. Today, yes, you must pay me my money. Yes, sir, I'm begging you. You must pay my money. Next month, I'll pay Why are you begging me? I'll pay you your money, sir. Today, you must pay my money. Please, yes, my clothes. My, my church never can be passing and it, is, it will be a shameful thing for them to see me in this position. Let them see us. Maybe they will pay my money. I gave you next week. I want to pay my money. Yeah, hello, 
Reverend Belo, what time are we going to that place tomorrow? Okay, 5 p.m. Um, don't bother to ask. I'll be there. I'll be there. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, no problem. <sighs> Anointed, why have you made up your mind to go astray? Your affliction and try just for a while. Same old story. I'm even tired. I want to enjoy myself. Sir, I can't continue again. It is written in the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 10, that if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Are you now saying you are going? Don't follow Bello. He has sold his soul to the devil and is now an instrument in the hands of the devil to harvest soul into hellfire. Remember what the Bible says in Psalm 1, verse 1 and 2. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. It is also written in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. Sir, don't even waste your time at all. Go sit down there in heaven and watch as my landlord will push me. Sir, I need money. Give me money or I die. Remember what the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10 to 12. For the love of money is the root of all evil, while some coveted after and have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, patience, love, and meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, where also thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession after many witnesses. Don't follow Velo. Don't follow him. On the tenth of this month, your helper. Shako. Sir, I can't wait. I want to go. part of the world and I assure him that I have a father that I give him everything that he desires. <laughs> hey Jaku, have the power. But young man, is it true? Yes sir. It is true sir. I need money and I want to have great wealth. I am tired of poverty, shame, and disgrace. I know that if I come here, this place will be the end of my problem. <laughs> ah, 
I, Jacob, have the power to supply you all your needs. Both of you leave this place now. Let me talk with the master. Is this nurse pastor anointed that I'll be giving no serious problem in our kingdom? The man whose prayer life has disgraced the crafting of the wicked in high places, the man that have set men of our captive free. Man or common among the Christians of nowadays. Did the same man we have been looking for destruction, but we could not destroy him because of the presence of God with him. And the two giant angels that always guide him. <laughs> Anointed. You are in trouble today. I will waste your life and your destiny. I will waste you and your ministry shall die completely. What of you may come inside? My son, I have spoken with the master. I have good news for you. You shall have great wealth and powers. Only if I will do anything as long as I see results. There are option. You need to shoot one of them. Option one. You shall sleep with the gold in the marketplace by night. Around 1 a.m. Option two. You shall marry a mad woman. Both of you shall live together. It is the style of the woman you will be using to increase in wealth. Option three, a marine woman shall send to you. You shall sleep with her every Friday of every week. Option four, donate the person you love most in your church. He shall die. And this will increase your wealth abundantly. This shall be every year. The last option is this. Every last Friday of every week, you must sleep with a new lady. This means you will never be married in your entire life. And it is the star of those girls you will be using. Some of them we run mad, become sickler, unable to marry, and unable to bear children. Some of them will die in fatal accidents, but in all, they can never become somebody in life. Those that manage to live, they will live their life in mess and have your poverty. Sir, all these options are very hard, sir. Can I go home and think over it and come back next week, sir? Anyone who hear this and refuse to choose shall never live again. Choose now or you die. Ah. Die? Ah. Choose now or you die. Please, sir, I don't want to die. Ah. I choose number five. <laughs> <laughs> Jaku 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 Managasta Take Vic
Congratulations, my pastor. You need to do what you are asked to do on time. But where will I see a woman? And where will I get car to pick them? That one is not a problem. I can borrow you one of my car. You can take one of those couples girls. I know they are conversious. They love flashy cars. Even when they see you, they can even fight themselves. Congratulations, my pastor. You need to do what you are asked to do on time. Thank you, Reverend. So, my wealth has come. Wow, wow, wow! We need ah. to go now. Ah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> In the next few hours, you shall die with the poison I give to you. Foolish pastor. Please don't fail me. I want to have great wealth. I must not die. I shall. Don't fail me, John. Yeah. 